everyone welcome back to our channel today I'm just going to be showing you a little bit of the process that I take when I'm making my units right now I have about three custom units that I'm doing and a couple of ready to ships so I just wanted to just take you through the process just show you a little bit from start to finish um, how I create um, our units so yeah stay tuned so here I'm just mi mixing some bleach with developer to get ready to bleach the knots on my lace closure and I'm using a 40 but I normally use a 30 I ran out of 30 so I did have to use a 40 and I let the bleach sit on for about 30 minutes going to see me check here I'm checking I can see that the knots are not ready and then I'll check again and you'll see the difference when the knots are actually ready to wash out so I'm going to just wash it with some neutralizing shampoo I always use that first and then I'll go in with my purple shampoo Point of the purple shampoo is to tone the closure and it'll take out any yellow brassiness in the closure I'm just showing you the mesh the mesh dome caps that I use and I buy them in a 12 pack I'll leave the link in the description box showing you the V shape of the cap some people use it towards the front and some people use it towards the back honestly I'll do both it just depends most of the time I do put the V in the back but I have um, put the V in the front and I'm just blocking off my measurements just having the rulers on the dome head just makes that part a lot easier After I'm done with my measurements, I'm going to take that extra um, cap out because I want this cap to be flat when I'm sewing on it. And I did do a video showing you how to remove that extra space um, by pulling it to the front. This time I'm pulling it, pulling it down to the back. There's another way that you can actually do it. doesn't really matter as long as that cap is flat. Now I'm going to get ready to put my closure on. I am using a 5x5 five five closure. The rulers just make, again, makes it easy. I can see my marking. I know it's a 5x5 five five, and I put it at the four and a half inch mark. Um, so my closure is a half an inch past the cap. And when you pull it down, you want to make sure you pull it down nice and tight. You don't want to closure to have any lumps in it it should be flat to the cap I'm 
gonna sew that down and I always start on one side sew to the middle and then I start on the other side and sew to the middle Okay, so now I am drawing my lines. I do make fewer lines than I used to. If you watch my previous How to Make a Wig video, um, I used to draw more lines. I draw less lines now and I find that to be a lot better. I like it. I know you see white stuff on my wefts. Just don't pay that any mind. I did, um, I gave the hair a bleach bath um, beforehand because I needed it to be that, um, to get that brown color. And it left like a bleach residue on the wefts. But once I wash the wig, it off. So I just finished doubling my tracks, and then I'm gonna start um, sewing those tracks on to the mesh stone cap. So when you take your weft, you wanna start at the end it as close to the end as you possibly can without going over and you want to stitch that end down and get it in place by back stitching and once you do that you want to lay your track across your line and so and you want to do it in stages I'm going to show you the next track how I straighten it as I'm sewing so lay your track down do your back stitching. Take your track, straighten out that part of the cap right there, and keep doing that as you go down. And you're not pulling the cap, we're just straightening it out. Make sure your hands are relaxed so you're not stretching the cap or pulling it too much. And you're not pushing the cap or anything. You're letting the machine do the work. It's um, the machine will feed it right through. All you're doing is guiding. I'm gonna attach my wig comb with a straight stitch. And here I'm just showing you how flat and everything you know how it is and how flat it is you want to make sure you're checking just to make sure that your webs are flat because if it's not you can just go ahead and cut it out right then and there and do it again instead of sewing the whole wig up and then you'll see that your tracks are not laying flat and then you have to cut um, take apart the whole wig so if you take the time to do this while you're sewing then you can you know save yourself some trouble
Okay, so I'm up at the top of the wig. You wanna make sure that your um, cap is curving with your tracks. When I first started, it used to take me like anywhere between like an hour and a half to two hours to get my wigs right on the sewing machine. Now it takes me about like 30 to 40 minutes depending on um, well, you know, what type of wig I'm making, how many bundles. I always take my time, I don't rush. I know some people say it takes 10 minutes, 15 minutes. To me, it's just not a time thing. As long as I get my tracks made right, that's all that matters to me. Okay, so now my wig is complete. See how nicely that my last track is lying across the closure. And now I'm going to attach my elastic band. The elastic band will help um, for the wigs to, you know, to be worn glueless by the clients. Nice and neat, the work is neat. You want the work to be neat, not only on the outside, but you want your work to be neat on the inside as well. So now that I'm finished and this wig is put together, I am going to put my blonde highlights into this wig. So here I just sectioned off the pieces that I'm going to be highlighting and then I'm going to go in with um, some bleaching powder and some developer. After I was done, I went and I made sure that I washed this unit out really well and I made sure that I treated and conditioned this hair. When you're using chemicals in the hair, you want to make sure that you're conditioning and treating the hair to bring it back, you know, to its, um, its, its original state pretty much because you're taking a lot from the hair. So here I'm just doing a little bit of plucking. And I'm almost finished with this unit. After I pluck it, I am going to let this unit dry. And then I'm going to cut layers into the unit to, um, you know, give it a little bit more. When I, I put my little wave curls in, the unit, you know, everything just lays so much better when you add layers. ombre brown unit with highlights.
And this is how she looked when I was done. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. Until next time.